Hello, coming to you with a update on my cherry plum trees. Uh, these now are at about three months old. I first uh, found them uh, having sprouted in March, around the end of March, on the 25th. So this one in the back is coming up just past nine inches, coming up on 10. And this one here is right at 10 inches. Uh, these are Prunicera saphira. It's a cherry plum tree. Uh, the, the fruit that these trees produce is really, really good. I, uh, I actually have tasted the fruit that dropped the seeds that I used to plant these and they were very, very good. I have another one right here um, and this is one that i tried to transplant it was growing in a place where it would have been cut down so i um i went ahead and picked it up and, and planted it in here the stem is still alive it dropped its leaves off so i'm just going to leave it here and hopefully it will um grow now if you let me get a chopstick so i can point something out If you, first I'm going to zoom in on this back one here. And if you look here at this leaf, um, this one in the back has had these cases of uh, mildew that I've been treating. Uh, it hasn't killed the plant. So it, from what I've read about this tree, it's resistant to disease, but I've had these cases of mildew here, uh, this leaf here also. I'm probably gonna end up cutting them off um, if, they, if they get any worse. Um, the thing is, when these trees were young, I kept the lid here closed. I don't anymore. These stay out in full sun. Now, the only other thing I can think that it could have been is before I had finished doing all of my research, um, I made the mistake of watering these trees too much. I was always afraid that I, I was going to do something to uh, neglect them and cause them to die, but I don't have to water them that much. So I've cut back and, and now this, uh, this soil is starting to uh, dry out. I do... Uh, tease it every so often. I'll get a small rake and, and move the soil around. Um, I have them growing in this bin because I, I, in case I needed to move them, I wanted to be able to move them quickly. The um, root base is doing well. I can, on like when I lift this bin up, I can see the roots through the bottom and the roots are just spreading out really long. Um, those young feeder roots there. And I did that also because I didn't want these trees to produce a tap root. Uh, eventually what I'm going to be doing is transplanting these into an ornamental pot. I don't want them to get any taller than uh, two feet. So maybe a little bit more, uh, one more uh, 12 inch length, and then that's as tall as I'll, I want them to get. Um, I wish this one here wasn't so close to the back. I, I had thought that I had planted all the seeds towards the middle when I did it, but I think this one got, got moved over because I had, uh, when I dumped the, the rest of the soil on top of the seeds I had planted, I think this one moved a little bit. But of all, I think I put six or six to eight seeds in here, and these are the two that came up. So. The other ones are in there, they just didn't uh, germinate. So I'll give you a close in view. The leaves on this one are really well. This leader here is taking a kind of a wicked turn. It's off at an angle, but it does have another leaf coming up in there. I can, I can see sprouting up. So what happens with this these two trees is that as it produces new leaves, the others drop away. 
And then it just keeps repeating that. And they are all alt alternating. Very beautiful color. I, th I, I have to say with this deep purple color, these are my uh, two most favorite of all the trees that I have. I just love this deep, dark, rich purple color. I'll give you a shot from this side. So that's my Prunus Sarasaphira, the cherry plum trees. Have a nice day.